I'm out of it. I'm enjoying raw meat, raw eggs, sashimi every single day. It is beautiful. I love my life. You don't. You eat quinoa and kale and pumpkin and think that is nutritionally dense. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, vegans deserve to suffer. They really, really do. I have been ex-vegan now for over three years and I thank God every single day that I don't have to eat that vegan gunk. I thank God every single day that I reclaimed my health. It is absolutely beautiful. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. Veganism is a mental illness. Veganism is human suffering. And I'm so glad, so thankful that I'm not in the vegan cult any longer. Nevertheless, over those past three years, we reached a bunch of vegans that converted to dirty, dirty flesh eating. But you still have hardcore vegans that want to cling to veganism. And it's those people that I want to address today. Those people really deserve to suffer. They will suffer until they can't no more. We know ex-vegans here on the channel that have been vegan for over 10 years and ultimately their health failed as well. Go figure. Most people can do it three years, some do it four years, some do it five, six, seven years, but this is really where you see the end stage veganism and 10 years seems to be the absolute threshold. Anything after that leads to absolute destructive health outcomes. Nevertheless, over those three years, I shared my own story but that is just anecdotes. Then we shared other ex-vegan stories. Those were anecdotes as well. Then we started showing some scientific studies. They were all funded by the meat industry, of course. Then lately we showed new studies that haven't been funded by the meat industry, but well, the vegans say, ah, uh, they're biased as well. There you go. Their eyes have been sealed. No matter what I'm gonna do, it's not gonna reach them. They have no eyes to see, no ears to hear, and God will let them suffer. And that is an absolutely beautiful thing. Guys, everything in this world has a feedback mechanism. If you jump off a cliff, you're probably gonna die or you're gonna get very, very injured. And that is simply your environment showing you what is real and what is not here in this physical reality. So the same applies, of course, to nutrition as well. You can get away with putting something wrong into your mouth, depending on how wrong that very something is. But if you keep on doing it over time and you don't nourish your body with its species specific diet and with nutritionally dense animal foods, then your body will decay and you will keep on suffering. The danger of course with veganism here is that if you are in that state of suffering, you have the vegan brain fog, you have the vegan depression, you have the vegan nihilism, then it's really, really hard to see the truth and to snap out of it. For those people that are confused, I still make videos. And thank God we reached hundreds, if not thousands of people that let veganism behind and finally reclaimed their health. Anyways, as I said, this video is for the hardcore vegans, the ones that don't have eyes to see, have no ears to hear, that are so dogmatic and need to find it out on their own flesh, through the hard school of experience, so to speak. It is absolutely fine by me. I love you, I really mean this. And moreover, I love God and I love this earth. It is fantastic the way that it is. Vegans whine about predators eating prey. I love it. I love that the lion eats the gazelle. I love to see how the crocodile eats its prey. I love to eat flesh as well because I am a human. I love this creation the way that it is. I'm not struggling. I'm not fighting this creation. I accepted God's will. It is fine by me. And it is fine by me as well that you gonna suffer. It is absolutely beautiful. It is God's hard learning lesson for you personally custom fit because you don't want to snap out. Of course it is sad because you're gonna waste precious years but this is apparently the lesson that you have to make. It is fine by me. I'm out of it. I'm enjoying raw meat, raw eggs, sashimi every single day. It is beautiful. I love my life. You don't. You eat quinoa and kale and pumpkin and think that is nutritionally dense. That is all right. Continue with veganism. Continue with veganism and suffer until you can't suffer anymore.
Alright guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to further support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. As always, guys, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.